Mesquita Avenue. So we're looking for some dirt roads. See how it drives on the dirt road. Oh, nice. Slow down for the bumps. Very good. Okay, so I have Tesla full self-driving version 12.3.4. We're going to drive the same route that we did on version 11 up into the dirt roads and see how this version 12 does. Making me nervous, but it's doing good. <laughs> now turn right on to Tierra Segunda Avenue. Still use some work. <laughs> well does. <laughs> there we go. I forgot how to you gotta let go of the brake when you hit the stock the second time, otherwise it doesn't go into full self-driving. I'm gonna make a left up here. It's asking me to touch the steering wheel so it knows I'm paying attention. It is a little bit of a tough one. You can't see too well to the right, so. We've got some cars coming pretty fast to the right. And I think we're gonna have a clear spot. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh uh, yeah, I think that was smoother than version 11. Get to the right lane. up the hill to find the dirt roads. So far pretty smooth. Tiny bit jerky going around the first uh, turn, but um, not bad at all. Okay, I think there's a dirt road coming up. Let's see. Wow. That was a quick slowdown. Mm, still paved. Okay, we got a UPS truck coming. That should be interesting. Okay, slow down, buddy. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> okay, we're approaching our turn to go out to the dirt roads. Nice slowdown. Last time we we approached, uh, there was, I think it was a UPS truck coming the other way, about halfway down this section, and the car was going pretty fast. And I think I took over, or maybe I just got ready to take over because it was scaring me. I was afraid we weren't going to give the UPS truck room. Good speed here, not too fast, not too slow. A little bit of a bumpy uh, paved section. And then it end, the pavement ends here and uh, go up into the dirt. A lot of construction. 
Okay, definitely dirt coming up here. Oh boy. We're still on the road. Oh, hey, this is a nice dirt road. <laughs> Just don't go in the ditch, buddy. Wow, looks like the rain is causing some havoc up there. Oh, nice. Slow down for the bumps. Very good. Ooh, we got a little ditch. How's it gonna do? Ooh, not bad. Still good. Okay, gotta watch for any messed up areas in the road. Looks okay. So far it's doing all the driving still. Okay, I'm gonna take over with the dirt. So last time I did pretty good on the dirt. Slowed down for the uh, the the with the washout areas from the uh, whoa 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 <laughs> car doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> it actually did better on version 11 here. It went straight up into the dirt. Um, let me see my map. Oh yeah, that's funny. I have the pin over here, but it's, it's trying to go the wrong way. Oh, maybe it's, oh, I see what happened. There's a gate there. It wanted to go probably this way. Well, let me try navigating here. <laughs> yeah, I guess I confused it because it, it thought going straight would be an easier route, but it couldn't because there was a gate. So, okay. Um, can't totally say that was a car's fault, but it did avoid the gate, so that was interesting. Here there was a lot of washed out road and it, it slowed down a lot for that. Uh, looks like they've repaired some of it, so not dealing with quite the same conditions, but perfect speed for this. Oh, here's a little bit of a bumpy section, see how it does. Oh, nice, slowed down a little bit, but it's not too bad. Coming around a little bit of a blind corner, but I guess I could see it has a pretty good vantage point. And then, oh, let's go a little farther. That's cool, it pulled over a little bit on to the side of the dirt. <laughs> so that was nice. bit close to the right but I mean not bad it's we're not hitting any bushes or anything and um, yeah driving really well let's try going all the way to the end here nice it's kind of staying to the right in case somebody comes may not be necessary probably could probably just stay in the middle it's taking its time getting a little close to the oof, almost scraped the paint with that branch so mmm I definitely prefer to be a little more in the middle and it's a little close to this ditch, so I'm going to take over. Too close to the ditch. So you can send feedback to Tesla when you disengage. Let's go 
going pretty slow going down here. All right, let's speed it up a little. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta uh, give the car a little accelerator if it's if it's being a little too cautious, and and sometimes that helps. Um, I don't know why, um, but it tends to be more on the cautious side. And sometimes if you accelerate, it'll pop back to like to closer to the speed limit. And maybe it's actually looking for your input. It's being cautious and probably saying, hey, if you want me to go a little faster, go ahead, just let me know. And it seems like as soon as you hit the accelerator, it, it speeds up another like 50% uh, or whatever get, to get close to the speed limit. be interesting to see in the future if it uh, if it uh, if it makes this turn and uh, this turn up here where there's the gate if it makes the turn without um, without trying to go where the gate is if it just automatically if it knows oh we got a car coming let's see how that handles this oh they must have seen us they pulled over very cool they probably don't know cars driving. So overall, not too bad. Um, some interesting things that happened. The real world is uh, always very, oh, even right now, it's slowing down maybe for the shadow of the, of the tree or the pole interesting or maybe because we got a little ridge here it wants to make sure there's nothing in the way I don't know but yeah sometimes it slows down unexpectedly stop sign we got a car on the left car a little ways on the right it should be waiting for them clear now and perfect exactly what I would have done. I like how the, the light is reflecting on three cyber trucks. Three cyber trucks. Bye bye, three cyber trucks. <laughs>